and welcome to another course in MicroStrategy Mobile App Developer Academy. This course is entitled Rotation and Views. I'll be presenting the steps necessary for creating and managing views. Using MicroStrategy Web in design mode, we'll take a look at existing views for landscape orientation on the iPad and landscape orientation on an Android device. Then we'll create a new view specifically for the portrait orientation on the iPad. Rotational support is made possible by the accelerometer in smart devices. The ability to rotate between portrait and landscape modes creates a better user experience because it offers an additional layout simply by turning the device. When designed properly, the experience can be transparent and smooth. It would be helpful to know your audience's orientation preferences before you start designing. Many people prefer to read text in portrait mode, but watch videos and flip through photos or anything benefited by a full screen experience in landscape mode. Additionally, for apps requiring typing, such as those using transaction services, users may be more inclined to switch to landscape mode as the larger keyboard makes it easier to type. Knowing these challenges, let's go over a couple of different patterns of orientation design. We'll be going over fluid orientation design and complementary orientation design. In the fluid orientation design, when the device is flipped, the interface simply adjusts to the new orientation size. This layout looks the same, but certain components like a grid or graph may be lengthened in different ways depending on the orientation. Additionally, images may be moved around to fit better on the screen. For example, in the MicroStrategy out-of-the-box demo app, you can see that when the device is flipped, the items on the screen are simply readjusted to fit the portrait screen better. This is fluid orientation design. In the complementary orientation design, when the device is flipped, the app displays supplementary information. For example, in the wireless bill document, the portrait orientation displays the wireless bill summary, whereas the landscape orientation displays the voice usage information. In MicroStrategy, there are two ways to implement rotation. You can either use layouts or views. Layouts are useful when you want to combine independently maintained documents into a single unified document. You can create a new layout in an existing document or you can import existing documents into a new document. This is ideal if you want each layout to show a different subset of objects. With views, you can create multiple versions of a layout within a document. This is ideal for rotation, especially when each view shares objects. There are a few advantages that views have over layouts. For one, selector selections are preserved across views. Additionally, because each view is sharing objects, performance is better than if you had loaded these same objects onto separate layouts. Views also enable you to specify a different screen resolution and screen orientation, which is helpful if you want to render the same document on multiple devices. In this video, we'll go over what a document with multiple views looks like. I've recreated the MicroStrategy World 2013 Barcelona app with a view specific to the landscape orientation on the third generation iPad, as well as the Google Nexus 10. Note that the third generation iPad has a resolution of 2048 by 1536, whereas the Google Nexus 10 
has a resolution of 2560 by 1600. Therefore, I've created two separate views for these two devices. Here's my first view of the document. Let's open up the Manage Views Editor, which we can use to add new views, edit, or delete existing views. Currently, you can see that there are two views. One of the views is specifically designed to display on the iPad, and the other is for the Google Nexus 10. That means that when you run the document on the iPad, the original view will render because it matches the resolution of the iPad. When you run the document on the Google Nexus 10, the Android tablet view will render because it matches the screen size of the Google Nexus 10. And now let's say you want to create a new view for the iPad that will display when you view the app in Portrait View. To do that, you have to create a new view. In the Manage Views window, duplicate an existing view. We'll duplicate our original view, or our iPad landscape view, since it has all the parameters of the iPad. I'm going to rename this view iPad Portrait, so we know what view it's for. And I'm going to switch the orientation of the view, so that this view will render in portrait mode only. I find it helpful to uncheck the Show Hidden Objects in Design Mode option, especially if I'm going to have an object on one view, but not on the other views. When this option is selected, I find that those objects tend to get in the way. Let's select the iPad Portrait View, then click OK so we can make some changes to it. As you can see, it's just a duplicate of the original iPad View. Let's move some items around so that it'll work better in Portrait View. First, I'm going to resize the header because it's too long to be displayed in Portrait View. Next, I'm going to move and resize the various boxes. I also need to make sure to lengthen the height of the document. I can do this in the properties and formatting of the document. Now that I've moved around my various boxes, I can shorten the width of the document as well. I'm just going to make some finishing touches now. Let's save the document. Now that it's ready, let's take a look at our app on the iPad. On the iPad, you can see that the views change depending on whether you have the app in Landscape or Portrait View. The same document viewed on the Android tablet will show you a completely different view. Here's our document on the Android. And that's a wrap for this MicroStrategy Mobile App Developer Academy course on Rotation and Views.